Hey, what's up, y'all? Michael back, uh, back with another episode of Community Voices. Um, today, we've got a special guest uh, from the uh, Washington football team. We've got James Smith Williams. Welcome, man. I uh, appreciate you having me on. Yeah, it's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. And, you know, we've got a special topic today, and I just want to jump right into it, really. Um, you've got uh, set the expectations. Um, talk to uh, us and our family about, you know, what this means to you and how it all started. Yeah, I mean, so it's, it's very near and dear to my heart. I've been working with Brenda Tracy, the founder of the organization, since my, I want to say, sophomore, junior year of college. She actually came to NC State, shared her story, and I mean, it was super impactful. If you've never heard it, I really recommend going and reading it or listening to it on YouTube or something. But she kind of just talks about her experience. And I, it's really, the story is crazy. Um, it'll really blow your mind. But really what I took away from it is that, you know, if you are a man in society and you're a good man in society, what are you doing to make those around you safer? Um, what are you doing that those around you feel more protected, more love? And that, that for me, really resonated with me. Yeah, I, you know, I, I think you got started with this in college, too. So, you know, college campuses across America, that should be a safe space, you know, for everyone to be learning and challenging yeah. themselves. And, um, you know, what can you say beyond leaving the student athletes just to, to the men, the young men on campus, um, you know, about this subject? Yeah, I mean, I, I think I'll really challenge those because, I mean, the fact of the matter is, you know, not every man on a college campus is committing these crimes. But with that being said, like, what are you doing to hold those around you accountable? What are you doing to hold your friends accountable? Like, what conversations are y'all having where you're like, hey, man, like, I, I don't think that was the right thing to do. Or, hey, man, like, you know, this isn't the right thing to do. Like, what, what are you doing to really kind of step up and really make this campus a safe space for those all around you? Yeah, I think, you know, a, a lot of the position has always been like, until it happens to me or until it happens to someone I love, you know, so uh, it's great that we can start this conversation early. Um, and, you know, uh, having men become like change, change agents, change advocates for this thing. Um, you know, what have you seen? And what have, you know, your actions done? Like, have, have you seen things change around you? Yeah, I mean, I think that all my friends know where I stand. I think it's very clear. I'm on the topic. So Definitely in my personal circle, I've seen the change, but also I've seen on the teams I've been on after uh, Brenda's comments spoken to us about domestic violence, sexual assault, you think I, I've seen some of the conversations change in the locker room or, you know, they're more mature. We're like, okay, like we're adults, like, you know, like people sometimes think that certain things are okay to say, right? That they are disrespectful, that are rude and kind of like, I think when you can sit someone down and really challenge them, like, why do you say that? Why do you think this way? Why do you think that's appropriate? You really start to see that change. But like, okay, like, I understand how my words can lead to action and how those actions can really, really change someone's life and really truly impact them for a long time. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's a fantastic um, message and some accomplishments. Um, so what, what are some of the big accomplishments you want to see, you know, this coming year or even in the next five years for the, the – you know, young men can can um, strive for? Yeah, I think for me personally, it's, it's continue to be that role model, can continue to have these conversations like what we're having that, you know, hopefully someone sits down and they hear this and they listen to it and they're like, okay, like, I, I'm starting to get the bigger picture. I, I want to learn more. I want to go. I really want to empower people to go and say, hey, like, I want to be dragged along this path of being a good person, doing good things. I want people to go and just take that initiative for themselves. Yeah, for sure. Uh, tell us a little about, like, uh, Brenda's story. Like, yeah. So, I mean, I, I will paraphrase that I can't tell her how Brenda does, yeah. but um, essentially she was uh, gang raped by um, Oregon State football players um, when she was uh, in around the college age herself. And, you know, she had a really hard time. No one believed – well, not no one believed her, but the football team covered it up. You know, the players never got punished, and it took a long time for – her case is finally being investigated and real actions to come of it. Um, and I say all that to say that, I mean, her story is, I, I mean, I, you can't comprehend it. When you hear it the first time, it's like, wow, like, I, I can't believe this ever happened. But I really give Brenda a lot of props because she comes to student athletes and she says, hey, like, this horrendous act was committed against me by football players. But with that being said, that I know men have the power to be the solution to this problem. Men have the power to say, like, hey, like, this isn't acceptable. And she always says, you know, if women could have done it alone, it would have been an issue a long time ago, right? Yeah. So I think that that for me really stuck with me. 
Yeah, man, you just uh, we're gonna give a link to to hear her story uh, below. But you know, tell us, uh, you know, what can one do to to get involved with uh, set the expectation? Yeah, I mean, so you can have Brenda come um, and speak to your college campus. You can donate to it. I mean, but really, I think the biggest thing is education. And Set Education has a wonderful link and things on their website that, you know, provide more information. Or you can speak to me or to Brenda or the team. And you kind of just, that to me, I think is the biggest takeaway, right? Like donations are always amazing. But that having that drive to go out and educate yourself, where you're like, okay, like how can I be an active bystander? How can I really set the standards of those around me? How can I have these tough conversations? And I think that really, especially in athletics, is so powerful because, and my on my team, you know, in college and professionals, like that's my extended family, no doubt about it. I spend all day with them whether I want to or not. And we're in there in that locker room. We have a lot of conversations. And I, you know, you can really impact someone by having those conversations on the daily and like really setting that standard, let them see it. Yeah. You know, football is always seen as a, a- uh, you know, machismo male sport. And I don't think that needs to change. I think males need to change, right? Like the, the conversations that you're having in that locker room are just um, amazing. So, you know, you want to leave us with anything, any, any thoughts? <laughs> um, no, nothing in particular. Um, you know, I just appreciate you having me on. And of course, anyone who hears this, you know, feel free to reach out to me or to Brenda. And I would love to have more conversations with them. Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, I, I appreciate the quick ch- chat and, uh, you know, I I'm a, was really impacted by just hearing a little bit about it. And, um, you know, on on behalf of JD Finish, on a, we'd love to make a donation to uh, set the expectation. Oh, yeah, that's awesome. Makes me super excited for Brenda and, and uh, STE. Yeah, absolutely. So we'll hit them up with some links below. Um, you know, keep doing what you're doing. Good luck on uh, Sundays. Um, and we hope to talk to you soon. No, that's awesome, man. I appreciate you. All right, man. All right. Talk soon. Bye.